the town of Wynn is struggling and a lot of locals want Wynn to survive. And if this bar doesn't survive, there's nothing really here left. There's a gas station. Other than that, then there's more bark, big business, but nothing small that the locals can gather at. I am now a bar owner in the town of Wynn, Michigan, about four miles down the road from my home. I kept Judge's Bench because it's been this name for 44 years. Um, stick with a good thing. Everybody knows where the bench is at. Uh, the only way I changed it was adding Sydney's on the front of it. For this bar, there really is no competition. Um, the closest bar would probably be um, Blanchard, um, you know, but I don't want people to come here because we're the only place. I want them to come here because they want to come. Um, yes, it's a bar, but I'm really trying to improve on the food aspects. I come in myself about 7.30 in the morning, but the bar opens up at 6 in the morning. So I have a lady who opens up from 6 to 8, covers for me, and then um, then you're fixing food, you're filling coolers, you're placing orders. Um, there's always cleaning. There's always something to clean. You couldn't do it without all my help. You know, you can't do it alone. That would be foolish and presumptuous of me to think that I could. Um, you cannot run a place like this without good help. And uh, that's why I try to do what I can to keep everybody happy, because you got a happy crew, then they're always willing to go that little extra step and help you out and make things work. Our fish have really improved on Friday night's fish. We've, I've changed up to nice big fillets instead of just chunks of fish. Um, we're trying adding flour to the batter to make it so there's not so much batter on the fish. Um, have changed the rolls, so just little things that we're trying to improve on. Just wanted a challenge, something different to do. I'm only 54, I got a lot of years left.